What's going on everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World and a lot of you guys have been asking me about the defensive scheme that I'm going to be running in Madden 21. Obviously it's going to be something wild and ridiculous. Uh, if you guys joined my journey during Twitch, the live streams here on YouTube, uh, the video content through Madden 20, you guys know we pretty much run a very unique defense. Um, you know, we, we are going to experiment though and kind of make sure that we understand exactly what we're doing because I need to make sure that my defense is easy for you guys to comprehend because I don't show you all the adjustments. I'm not going to spoon feed you. I want you guys to create your own schemes. I want you guys to understand exactly how the game works. And I'm going to give you the format, but you have to make your own version of it. And a lot of you guys had so much success doing it. Um, you guys come by, you say thank you, your, your weekend league games went up. You know why it's easier that way? Because you actually put your own time into it. Okay, now when I was coming up, that's the way it was. You have to earn your stripes. So right here, when you take a look at what's going on right now, this is something that you guys have to understand, right? Taylor Mays, the safety position, the scheme, right? When If you play the closed beta and then you listen to the most recent uh, EA stream, they're not going to change the way that the middle linebackers move. But if you guys played the closed beta, you would know, in my opinion, the safeties and the cornerbacks moved around fine. So what does that mean for me? That means that it is a possibility. Hear me out. There's a possibility that we will utilize a safety or a corner if it's necessary. If the user is so sluggish that they're trying to make it a little bit more realistic with the players at launch, uh, that they don't move the way we want. A lot of us are used to guys like Ryan Shazier with 99 speed running with Randy Moss. That doesn't make sense in my opinion. But again, it's Madden Ultimate Team. So it goes by the speed. It goes by certain attributes, right? A guy like Taylor Mays will be huge. Obviously, at the launch, I don't believe that they're going to do anything like that. I don't think they're going to just give us Taylor Mays, uh, you know, right at the launch. Like, yeah, hold this right quick. But I do believe that we're going to have decent, you know, you know, decent decisions to make about user. And we're going to have a variety of players that we can actually use. Now, whether it's a current player like Earl Thomas, you know, even Harrison Smith, like he's mad slow and it would disgust me to use him. But if he's able to move better than a linebacker and I can get back in coverage, he might be a guy that we would use. For those of you guys that play Madden often, you know for a fact, you got to look for speed. And he lacks that. Okay, so Harrison Smith is never usually a guy that you would catch on my team. It doesn't matter what's going on, simply because I know the guy does not move. Like, he just stands there, dude. Like, it's completely ridiculous and he gets burnt over the top. But again, a lot of you guys are worried about, oh my God, they're not gonna fix that sluggish movement, Jemaya, what are we gonna do? There's no need to panic, okay? The big basis of it is, the reason that I'm showing you all this stuff right now, because all the information is gonna be given to us on August 18th, we're gonna create a team that gets pressure, so we're not worried about you know who we're gonna have in the backfield as much, because we're gonna make these dudes throw the ball up. Even with nano detection and all the stuff that's gonna probably still be in the game, we're gonna send pressure. Some of you guys are saying, yeah, but you can't send the same blitz. We're going to change the angle. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they're going to recognize what you're doing every single snap, but that doesn't mean that it changes anything. They can't stop you from sending everybody, and all the linemen on your opponent's team won't be, like, intelligent. Like, they're not going to be Einstein. They didn't go to Yale or Harvard. They're not going to be able to stop all the blitzes. I wouldn't worry about that too much. We are going to put together a team that's going to make a lot more sense than people realize. Now, what I'm doing right now is something that we may continue to do. Remember months ago when we tried out Miles Garrett and realized he was a monster, we did put him in at D tackle. Uh, he is a savage, especially if you were playing salary cap. He's a monster if you give him abilities. But what we saw was that he wasn't heavy enough. And the reason, you know, I think that we didn't get that feel was because Warren Sapp was such a monster. For those of you guys that remember that, and I think EA emphasized that weight at that time. So it made it so that most of us was using Warren Sapp. And it was like, yo, this guy's the deal. Realistically though, one of the things that I did not do, I did not surround Miles Garrett with pure speed around him. I actually looked at attributes, I looked at strength, I was playing around with Aaron Donald, like yo, put this guy there, and I was doing it wrong. I'm gonna tell you why I was doing it wrong. This guy right here is more than enough. Like, put it like this, let's say in Madden 21, we get a fast right end or left end, put him at D tackle, give him abilities, and just not worry about any other attribute and put speed around them. For instance, Miles Garrett will be my D tackle, Dwight Freeney and Lawrence Taylor, no, not Lawrence Taylor, Jadavion Clowney, because we're gonna take the abilities away from Jadavion Clowney, because he plays well regardless of whatever's going on. So in this video, I was thinking about it as we're going along, and I was like, you know what? I think this is gonna be one of the type of schemes that we would try to experiment with. We're gonna put pure speed 
on our D line. I don't care if the cards are silver. Remember, we're talking at launch. So a lot of us won't pull things that are very, very like OP. It's gonna be basic cards, you know what I'm saying? It's not gonna be something to where it's like, you know, the card is like a high overall, unless we get lucky with pulls, or for some reason we get a decent amount of coins and we're able to do stuff. I'm talking about just putting together a squad that even with the way the game is designed, because remember, contains will play differently now. That should eliminate a lot of the rollout corners. It should, but this is at launch. More than likely when they patch or tune the game, it's going to change the way the players play. And we're gonna have to adjust what we're doing. But I'm giving you guys this food for thought right now. Let's not worry about attributes too much, okay? Let's not look at it like, oh, this guy's a beast, unless the guy is a beast. Unless we pull a Aaron Donald at launch. Like, if it's not Aaron Donald, we're putting somebody that's super fast there and we're just leaving them there. And our front three are gonna be, we're gonna probably have an, a, a D end in, the, in at the D tackle position with abilities and everybody around him is gonna be super fast. Now, another thing that you guys were saying was, what if it's not, what if I don't run three, four? What if I go back to my four, three over? You know, Jima, what are you gonna do with that if it's four, three? Well, if it's four, three, we're gonna obviously have to have, it won't be that much emphasis on the D tackles anymore. We'll put it on the ends because now we'll have two beefy guys in the middle that'll help to, you know, you, they gotta stuff the lane up. See, four, three is difficult because if you get a psycho that's gonna run inside zone, if you don't have those big dudes there, those two D tackles, it's gonna cause problems. The three, four, you can actually space it out differently so that those ends are like right there next to the D tackle to help them out. And then you have the outside linebackers and it's a different core. So I don't know yet. It depends on how the game plays. And then we gotta make sure that everything that EA Sports says that it's going to work, that it's gonna work before we actually make a determination. So all that stuff is very, very important as we start to go around and look and see what we're gonna do. So this is what I want you guys to keep in your mind right now. I'm gonna utilize this defensive scheme because I never actually put it together like this. And then I'm gonna experiment in a gameplay to kind of see how they play differently. And then we're gonna to determine together like, yo, is this something that we should be doing? Um, should we go back with our old school scheme and just go ahead and put it on the outside linebackers? Should we go back to making the secondary players be the dudes? Should we do that? You see what I'm saying? I have a feeling though, that at launch, this systematic system, like this will make more sense. Putting a fast end at D tackle and just making your whole D line wild, super fast speed, which will probably be max of like 86, 88 at launch of Madden 21, and just making your opponent wish he didn't log in. That's gonna be our goal. We wanna make our opponent wish he never logged in when he runs into us in head to head. And that's what I'm gonna design the defense to do. All right, so this is the way it's gonna be right now. We're gonna go ahead and jump into a gameplay in a second. Go ahead and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'm gonna see you very soon. Until next time, one love, y'all.